What's poppin'? It's your boy Janto here. And you already know me uh, one day, as I've said before. I really want to become a voice actor in Japan. And so, you know, I usually watch like sub videos of them doing like radio shows. And hopefully I get to do one one day as well if I eventually become a voice actor. But I hear a lot of them talking about how they want to go overseas to America. And I hear that, I'm like, hey, I actually live there. I actually have some expertise of where they want to go. And, you know, I know some voice actors have been to America and I've talked to it a bit. But I thought, hey, why not, you know, talk about America and, you know, eventually one day, if I become a voice actor, you know, talk about on the radio show. But I decided to make a guide to three of the most popular cities here in America. Of course, I'm talking about over here in the West Coast, uh, Las Vegas, LA, and uh, San Diego. I think those are ones that are particularly popular, or more or less, uh, I probably would choose New York, but I haven't been there in like a decade or so, so I just decided to go to San, with, uh, San Diego. So yeah, here I'm gonna talk about three cities, and you know, hopefully, uh, if any foreigners watch this, they could watch this and use it as a guide if they ever wanna visit. So yeah, here we go. Uh, we're gonna start off with Las Vegas first, goodbye. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Probably the most popular city among voice actors. Well, that or Los Angeles. And I know that some voice, famous voice actors have actually been there, like uh, Shimo no Hiro and uh, Kaji Yuki. So I thought, a lot of foreigners probably want to go there if they go to America, so why not talk about it first? All right, so I think there's two main parts of Las Vegas you should know about. First one is, well, the Las Vegas Strip. And to be honest, if you're visiting America, uh, the Strip is probably the one place you're really gonna go to. And the second part is really just the rest of Las Vegas, which really is important. <coughs> uh, I'm just basically just gonna break down the rest of Las Vegas. So you have the strip, which is obviously the most advertised for good reason. It's the most glamorous. It looks the prettiest, a lot of nice buildings and casinos. But the rest of Las Vegas is really just kind of like a desert. A lot of industrial highways and like small buildings, you know, small shops, really insignificant. And not a lot of tourists go there at all. It's really just for the people that actually live there. It's just like any other small town, really, once you get past the strip. So, import most importantly, today, we're gonna talk about the Las Vegas Strip. So if you're going to Las Vegas and you're in the Strip, there's really four main things that you're probably gonna do there once you're in Las Vegas. So let's talk about the first one, which is obviously gambling. Okay, so if you're visiting Las Vegas, I honestly recommend that you don't gamble. And obviously, I've never been there for gambling myself. I mean, first of all, I'm not even old enough yet. But second of all, let's just be honest, you're gonna be wasting your money. Even if you win some, eventually you're gonna to wanna to do it again and win more, and you're probably gonna lose money. But basically in Las Vegas, you can either like playing card games, you know, like poker, Texas Hold'em, stuff like that, or you can just use like regular slot machines and invest your own money there. And you actually don't need to be that rich to like uh, do slot machines or anything like that. You can actually just invest like a few cents, like a couple quarters, and lose, but Let's just be honest, if I go to Las Vegas, I'm probably not gonna gamble at all. So, I know gambling is the epicenter. Well, really Las Vegas is one of the only places you could gamble in America. So what else can you do there? So that leads us to the second thing you're probably gonna go to Las Vegas for, and that is, without a doubt, the food. So, the food. This is definitely my favorite part of Las Vegas. It's one of the only things I really get excited for. And really it's because Las Vegas probably has one of the most culturally diverse, you know, pieces of food in like the world, really. Really anything you could think of, they probably have there, you know? They have American, British, Japanese, Chinese, you know, really whatever you could think of. And I've had some really good food down there in Las Vegas. I mean, and the price range really isn't that bad either. There's really cheap buffets with actual fresh food and it's actually pretty good. I definitely recommend going to like one of their cheap buffets. But if you're a big baller, then hey, you can also go to a restaurant that's, you know, like 
been opened by one of those like famous celebrity chefs like Gordon Ramsay. So really, whatever you can think of, and if you ever want to try something new, i definitely go to Las Vegas for food. Because, you know, prices, well, they could definitely be really high, but at the same time, uh, their prices could definitely be a little low. Especially for foreigners who haven't tried American food before, i definitely try recommending one of their cheap buffets. Get some good, you know, American food, a lot of variety. So, hey, that's probably the best part about Las Vegas is definitely the food. But on to step number three, which is also one of my favorite parts. Definitely should go there for Las Vegas. Of course, I'm talking about the concerts, the shows, and the magic performances and things like that. Yeah, this is definitely probably the second favorite part of Las Vegas. And I really enjoy these if I ever get the chance to see them. But shows, you know, concerts, magic shows, things like that. And really, I think last time I went to Vegas, I remember I went to see uh, Matt Franco, which was one of the magicians that won America's Got Talent. Definitely one of my best experiences in Vegas, whenever, if I ever want to go there. Uh, really great show. He doesn't have as big as like an auditorium as you'd expect. There's probably only room for like 50 to 100 people. But I think the experience was made much more intimate because of it, and I actually really enjoyed the experience. So the shows, the concerts, and the magic shows are definitely something to check out. If you're there for music, uh, there's a lot of famous, you know, rock bands from like the 70s and 80s. Also really popular, you know, like pop singers from who are like popular now. So if you really want to, you go see bands, you know, like Van Halen or something like that. Or you could see singers who are famous in the 80s like Elton John. Or if you really like music nowadays, you can see artists like Bruno Mars who will pop up there eventually. Now I know during Corona, this whole point's kind of like moot since no one's going to be holding like public concerts or anything like that. But eventually once everything gets back to normal, if you want to visit Las Vegas, I definitely recommend checking out one of the shows. Always a great time there. Gotta be completely honest. Definitely one of the only reasons to go to Vegas. All right. So once we're at the, with that out of the way, number four, what could be the fourth thing you go to Vegas for? Well, probably the shopping. Let's just be honest here. So I'm going to be completely honest. I think this section is primarily aimed towards the women, all of you foreign women. If you want to go to Las Vegas, you know, and you love shopping like my mom, then you'd probably love Las Vegas because Las Vegas has a wide variety of stores all across the strip, whether it's bags, clothing, shoes, jewelry, anything you like. There's a lot of places you go and a lot of famous brands too like Gucci and Louis Vuitton and you know, stores like that all across the strip. So really, if you a big baller, you know, got a fat stack of cash and you have something to spend, then I definitely recommend going to Las Vegas and shopping for some of the products there. Is it expensive? Of course it is, it's Las Vegas. But if you have sufficient funds and you wanna get something really nice, then I definitely recommend going to Las Vegas for that. They have a lot of fashion there. You know, a lot of items that a lot of people would want to buy. And I definitely recommend Las Vegas as one of those places. So that's pretty much my rundown of why you'd want to go to Las Vegas. But if I'm going to be completely honest, I prepare yourself for a complete culture shock. Going to Las Vegas for the first time really is like a different experience. Especially if you're from a foreign country, you're definitely going to see things you've never seen before. Straight up like naked women on trucks. And the only thing covering like their tatas is like, a red strip with the contact information on it. You're gonna see, you know, a bunch of homeless people, probably a bunch of people on drugs, to be completely honest. It's a crazy place. It really is a crazy place. You know, it was founded in corruption. Probably still is corrupt, but a lot of people go there. It's good for business. Um, probably the most interesting story I have, or really the funniest, you know, I kind of just repressed Vegas from my mind because of like how insane it is. Don't really want to remember most of the time. You know, remember the good, don't remember the bad. If you're gonna to go to Vegas, just remember that. But I think definitely the funniest story I had of going to Vegas was, well, our family, you know, I don't know why, but we want to eat McDonald's for breakfast because it was across the street. Why we didn't go to any of the buffets or any of that? I don't know, I guess we were just too lazy. But basically, I was walking down the street to this McDonald's with my family. And this black guy straight up handing out flyers, 
to people. Straight up holds one up. He's like, free tickets to the Titty Palace. Free tickets to the Titty Palace. <laughs> That was, that was like one of the funniest things I've ever heard. I was trying really hard not to laugh because I was walking next to my mom. And I guess she didn't hear it because she was like, she's like, oh, why is everyone laughing? I swear there's a white guy who's like walking like right next to us with his girlfriend. He's like, ooh, titties. <laughs> uh, basically, prepare, prepare yourself for a culture shock because Las Vegas really is like a different beast from a lot of big cities. It's, re it's really different from a lot of big cities. It really is. So uh, just prepare for that if you're gonna go there. All right, so moving on to the second city, we got Las, ba wait, no, Los Angeles. I said Las Vegas, Los Angeles. <laughs> on to the next city, which is of course LA. Definitely, uh, probably the second most popular among voice actors and foreigners alike. And I definitely see why. I've been to Los Angeles many times before. It's really within driving distance of where I live. And it really is different, but if I'm gonna be completely honest, personal opinion wise, I think it has great sights. <laughs> but to be completely honest, I think it has a really rowdy, really big city culture. And that just isn't for me, really, really just terrible culture. Um, I think there are certain places you should definitely go, which I've been to multiple times, but the surrounding LA area, I'd probably go to it about, you know, once or twice. And of course, I'm talking about Hollywood and, you know, the Hollywood Walk of Fame and all that. That's definitely what most people envision where they want to go if they want to go to LA. But to be completely honest, I'd probably go there only like once or twice in my life. Um, why? Well, first of all, I think seeing it for the first time, you know, seeing the Hollywood sign, you know, seeing maybe all the movie studios around there and seeing the Hollywood Walk of Fame with all the names of famous people on there is great and all. But I think once you see it once, you know, you know, that's it. It's kind of like you see it once, you know, you get that wondrous like feeling of seeing something for the first time. But, you know, you definitely look at it again and just like, oh, I've already seen it before. So what's the point? I, you definitely get that feeling. And the culture around there is really just kind of like disastrous. It's chaos everywhere. There's going to be hundreds of people walking around you, you know. None of them very nice either, let's just be honest. A lot of people in these big cities are going to be rude. Pro you know, you could probably just assume that of everyone, to be completely honest. You're going to have wannabe rappers handing out mixtapes, crazy people in cars yelling out some stuff. I remember last time I went to L.A., I was walking around like the Walk of Fame and all that. There's just this really old Korean couple and they had like signs of like, you know, Jesus and all that, like Jesus flags coming out like their windows. This dude just had the biggest megaphone I've ever seen. It was just blasting out like Bible, Bible verses. But I think the craziest thing was no one gave it any second thought. It's like it was normal there. And I, that was really shocking to me, but also I thought it was really funny. But what I want, you know, to like endure that more than once, you know, it's like a funny story once. But if you see it again, you're just going to be like, why am I seeing this again? So definitely, if you're going to visit Los Angeles, you know, I think the really, really famous spots, definitely only worth seeing like once or twice. But that doesn't mean that everything in LA is bad. Uh, and so... Let me talk about probably the two best things about LA. Uh, the two best things I definitely find about LA, first of all, is food, which I think you'll find in any big city, but there's a lot of a lot of great food in LA. Really, there is. Definitely one of the best parts about LA. And second of all is the amusement parks, and primarily I'm talking about Universal Studios and, uh, of course, Disneyland. So really, food, I don't think I need to cover it as much. Uh, basically the same as Las Vegas lots of wide varieties of food lots of culture you know la is a really culturally diverse you know area a lot of different ethnicities a lot of different backgrounds a lot of people want to move there from you know other countries you know make it big in hollywood or something like that a lot of people just want to go there for work so obviously there's got to be a, a lot of culturally diverse food there probably even more so than las vegas and of course you know you probably got to search it up and try to find them 
much more easier to find spots in Las Vegas than it is in LA to be completely honest. But if you look, it's definitely gonna be there. And of course, I'm not just talking about, you know, uh, like in the famous areas and the price range isn't all that bad. Of course, you know, if you're talking about like the famous restaurants, prices are gonna be really high. A lot of celebrity chef owned restaurants there, you know, lots of high prices. But there's also a lot of really low prices too, you know, it could just be like, like a restaurant, like a random neighborhood that has like medium prices, but chances are it's probably really good. I'm just gonna be completely honest. Not a lot of bad spots in LA. Even a lot of the cheap spots have good food. Just know that. So you don't have to eat, you know, really expensive food. You can easily get on a budget and you could easily be as good at eating as like fancy restaurants if you really want to. Hey, unless you're big baller, then hey, go for it, you know? Want to go to those famous restaurants? Go to those famous restaurants, you know? It's all up to your wallet. But uh, I definitely recommend some of the small time restaurants as well. So that's really all I have to talk about food. But really, without a doubt, the best parts of Los Angeles, and really one of the only reasons I ever go there anymore, is to go to the amusement parks, primarily Universal Studios and Disneyland. So if you're a foreigner, I'd without a doubt recommend going to Universal Studios. Now, I know there's a lot of Disneylands, you know, like across the world, definitely in more of the, you know, richer countries. But if you're going to Los Angeles, you know, going to Hollywood, definitely check out Universal Studios. You know, it has a lot of stuff exclusive to Los Angeles. There's another one in Florida, in Orlando, which I think is honestly better because it just has more stuff. There's more space. But LA is exclusive because obviously, you know, that's like the film capital of the world. You know, a lot of big movie studios are there. A lot of stuff is actually filmed in the studios of that theme park. And there's even like a studio tour where they talk about making of movies. And there's a bunch of like activities you could take like on a tour bus there. Definitely the best part of Universal Studios. You go there for the first time, one of the best experiences you're gonna have. You gotta be completely honest. The studio tour in Universal Studios, I definitely recommend checking that out. You know, every time I go there, you know, I've been there like a hundred times, but every time it's still great. I still have a fun time on the studio tour. But they also have, you know, a lot of rides and all that. Uh, if you're getting food, it's gonna be expensive. It's probably one of the only bad parts of it. And it's not, it's not bad, but it's not, it's not amazing either. It's just amusement park food. And it's gonna be expensive. But uh, yeah, yeah, probably one of the only places where you sh shouldn't buy food in Los Angeles. But other than that, you know, they have some great rides. And a lot of great shows too. You know, they have like, they have Waterworld, which is like, like a 90s TV show, but they like made it a show there. They also have a lot of shows like showing how they use pets, you know, how they use like dogs and cats in movies and also like special effects as well. Of course, they're not on the level of like actual big budget films, but they show how some of them work and I think that was pretty sick. So I definitely recommend going to Universal Studios. Your first time is going to be great. You know, it really is like quote unquote magical place if you go there for your first time. I really enjoyed it. Every time I go there, I still enjoy it. So if you want, really want to, if you're going to LA, I definitely recommend checking out Universal Studios. But also, there's also Hollywood. And Hollywood technically really isn't in Los Angeles. Like it's not near like Hollywood and all that. It's actually in An Anaheim, which is like 30 minutes to like an hour drive from Los Angeles, but it's definitely nearby. So obviously you should definitely check out Disneyland as well. All right, so Disneyland. Uh, I know Disneyland is really international. There's pretty much Disneyland's all around the world, and I've never really been to any of them. But I think LA Disneyland is pretty dope, you know? Definitely not as cool as Disney World in Orlando, which I've been to. Seriously, if you're gonna go to America, I'd definitely recommend going to Orlando just because of the amusement parks. But, you know, that's a topic for another day. Not really gonna talk about that today. So, uh, Disneyland in Anaheim, technically. Not in LA, technically, but in Anaheim. So I think Disneyland is really great, mostly because there's two parts to Disneyland, actually. There's the regular Disneyland that you go to, that's the most well known, but there's also California Adventures. Now I'm just gonna say this, if you wanna experience, you know, like classic Disney, a lot of the stuff that like made Disney famous, 
you know, definitely go to Disneyland. That's like authentic Disney, really. But Disney, but California Adventure is where all the great rides are. So that pretty much depends on how are you as a customer. Do you want to experience, you know, the really like Disney, you know, magical like Disney side of Disney land? Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is, I definitely recommend going to Disneyland if you want to experience like more of that authentic Disney experience. But the rides in California Adventure are so fun. I always get way more excited to go to California Adventure. Because, you know, I love going on the rides, you know, like, what? California, California Screaming, but, you know, they turn into the Incredicoaster. Basically the same thing. Indiana Jones ride. A oh, Star Wars ride. A Star Wars ride is dope. And it was, like, recently added to. I forgot which park is it. Park it's in. Actually, I think it's in Disneyland and not California Adventure. But, you know, there's... Oh, the car is riding California Adventure too. That's really fun. Well, honestly, I'd probably just purchase the dual pass, especially if you're going there for the first time. You know, half the day go to Disneyland, other half go to California Adventure, whatever you want to do. But ultimately, I think Disneyland, compared to Universal Studios, I actually think I'd probably rather prefer Disneyland more just because I've been to Universal Studios way more many times, mostly because I've gotten like a yearly pass a lot. But really, I think uh, Disneyland is definitely more revisitable than uh, Universal Studios. Mainly just because they have such a wide variety of like rides, to be completely honest. Definitely think going there for your first time is gonna be a magical Disney experience, but I can't even overreact or like over exaggerate on that. It's gonna be really fun. So yeah, overall, if you're gonna go to LA, you know, the famous like Hollywood sign and like Walk of Fame, I probably only go there like once or twice, to be honest. I honestly don't even enjoy going there anymore. Probably because I've seen it so many times, but just, you know, going out on the street, it ain't, it ain't for us weebs. It ain't for us weebs, I'm gonna be completely honest. Definitely don't enjoy walking out on the street with like a hundred people. And they all look, a lot of them look really sketch. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. But the amusement parks and the food is really something to die for. You should definitely experience that when you can. And so with that, I think we finished talking about Los Angeles. And so for the third and final city, I really think this is like a gem in the rough, diamond in the rough, whatever you want to call it. Just like in other countries like Japan, where you know, there's like the tourist traps, all those big cities like Tokyo and Kyoto and all that. I definitely think this is, you know, a diamond in the rough. A lot of people don't think about the city but it really is great to visit. And of course, I'm talking about San Diego. So why talk about San Diego rather than, you know, as mentioned earlier, some of the other big cities like Orlando? Well, first of all, SD native. You're, I think I've made that obvious when I mentioned San Diego and how I've been able to go to LA and Las Vegas so many times. But yeah, I'm from SD, and really, there's a lot of great stuff to see here. Uh, you know, eventually I do want to move to Japan, but I definitely think I'd be a little bit homesick, because to be completely honest, San Diego is probably one of the most chill cities out there. It really is. And if you want to visit there, I definitely think it's one of the best cities, you know, for relaxation. Of course, I'm not talking about right now, because of like Corona and, you know, all the political stuff going around here. I'm, I'm not gonna talk about politics, seriously. I don't want to, but you know, definitely because of that right now, San Diego is a little bit more rowdy than usual. Definitely not as bad as some of the other cities around here, but I definitely recommend going to San Diego if you go to America for your first time, if you get the chance. Uh, why? Well, I think there's a lot of great things about San Diego. And primarily, you know, let's talk about, let's talk about three things I really love about San Diego. All right, so obviously I'm first gonna talk about food, just like I have for every other big city I've talked about. But there really is a lot of great food here in San Diego, especially in downtown. And if you didn't know, San Diego is near the border to Tijuana, so there's actually a lot of great Mexican food here. But there's also a lot of other great restaurants here too. Uh, there's this place called Convoy. And if you go to San Diego, definitely check out Convoy basically like the epicenter of like asian food here in san diego and just has some of the best the best asian restaurants here you know i'm talking japanese chinese korean you know all that good stuff if you go here for the first time 
even if you're a foreigner from an Asian country like Japan, definitely check out those restaurants. Really good. So obviously with food, obviously not much to talk about. Pretty much the same old, same old. This is like LA and Las Vegas. Really culturally diverse, really good. Definitely recommend checking those out. But secondly, the beach. You know, we're right, right next to the ocean and probably not something a lot of foreigners get to experience. You know, probably definitely something very exclusive to us here in San Diego, but I definitely recommend checking out, going to the beach, you know, right now, despite the fact that there's Corona, a lot of people go out to the beach for some reason. I don't really know why, but I'd honestly really go out to the beach. Going out to the beach for the first time is definitely a great experience. Really, the only things I'd watch out for is like small things in like the sand. There's gonna be like seaweed and like seashells and all that. And stepping in those directly is never fun. You know, always hurts a little bit. But other than that, checking out the beach is great. And there's a lot of nice beaches here in San Diego you could go to. So I definitely recommend checking out, you know, going for a swim, you know, taking photos, whatever you want to do. As I said earlier, there's a lot of good, a lot of good restaurants surrounding the beach as well. But yeah, definitely going, you know, to the beach on a nice sunny day. It's always going to be a great experience, you know, especially if you go with other people. So foreigners going here for the first time. If you go to San Diego, definitely go to the beach. It's a really different experience from like where you're used to, especially if you're used to like the city and even the countryside, even those who live in the countryside. Beach is really a different experience from all that. It's kind of like a separate world from everything around us, even despite the fact that like the city is like right next to the beach. As soon as you get off the beach, you're gonna be in the city again. But the beach definitely feels like, you know, it's all its own small little world and I definitely enjoy that aspect of it. Although, you know, be wary, there's gonna be a lot of other people there, you know, a lot of people in swimsuits and all that. So, you know, us we is, you know, might wanna, you know, look, no, I'm kidding. We only, you only look at waifus. Obviously, I'd only look at Riri. So, definitely not something for us weebs, we only respect our waifus. But yeah, definitely go to the beach if uh, you go here. It really is a different experience from everything else. So the third thing in San Diego is the sights. You know, just like the beach, there's actually a lot of really beautiful, nice spots in San Diego, you know? And in terms of amusement parks, uh, there's really only two here. One of them is SeaWorld, and I'm gonna be completely honest, you're only gonna to wanna to go to SeaWorld like once in your life. Once you go there once, you've experienced everything. I'm not kidding. And honestly, being a native here, I really hate going to SeaWorld now. I never go, like I seriously never have any reason to go to SeaWorld unless it's like an event there. Last time I went there, there's like a there's like a homecoming for our school. Like that's really the only reason I, I ever go to SeaWorld anymore. Like, listen, one time, I had to go there like three times in one week and I wanted to die after like the first time. It was really boring. It's really boring after the first time to be completely honest. Second amusement park is called Belmont Park and it's right next to the beach. And to be completely honest, it is really fun going there, especially with other people. If you go here, go to Belmont Park with your friends. There's really only like one roller coaster, you know, call it like a great dipper, big dipper, something like that. But really, you're really just there, you know, to go to the beach and at the same time, maybe get some food. There's a great ice cream spot there. Really love it. Lots of clothing shops there, especially for people who like to surf. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely check out Belmont Park. There's a lot of like, there's like a mini golf there too. And there's like this ride. There's like a few rides there, but it's definitely different. It's kind of like a carnival, really. Carnival-like rides. Definitely recommend checking out. Still love going there definitely go with your friends or something like that, even with your family. You know, whoever you're going with, whenever you visit, definitely go to Belmont Park. And so, obviously, as I was talking about the sites, you know, uh, sites I can really think of, really surrounding the beach is probably the USS Midway, which is like a famous decommissioned ship. So if you're interested in that, you know, go ahead, check it out. Been there a couple of times myself. You know, never had a bad time. My dad was in the Navy, so. Definitely interested in that, love going there. But really, there's also a lot of wilderness around San Diego. Once you get out of the city, there's actually a nice, really nice hiking spots, really nice views. 
there's a lot of famous like hiking spots like one of them we call them potato chip because the end destination is this little rock that looks like a potato chip you go on and you know go at your own risk obviously if you're not experienced with like hiking probably wouldn't go but i feel like these hiking trails are definitely something that like most like regular fit people could do you know a lot of people i know have gone there and you know potato chip uh it's like a small rock and if you fall off uh it's kind of you know it's kind of uh, uh, it's kind of you know so uh go go at your own risk but if you go there it really is a beautiful sight you know you get to see it it's a really great view so yeah san diego isn't actually all about the beach there's a lot of great sites to go to a lot of great hiking trails a lot of attractions to go to and it definitely is you know a diamond in the rough if you really think about it compared to a lot of great big cities that other people and i've heard like voice actors talk about like las vegas and la definitely recommend checking out san diego you know come and support come and support the city you feel me but uh yeah i think that's it that's all the cities you really want to talk about okay so i've talked about three cities obviously the two big ones being las vegas and los angeles and small little diamond in the rough San Diego if you ever want to check that out but hey if you uh, enjoyed this video you know hit that like hit that subscribe button YouTube please put this in the algorithm I'm begging you but uh yeah you know just want to make this video because you know hopefully one day if I become a voice actor in Japan I could talk more in depth you know maybe on a radio show or if I'm out drinking you know with like friends or something like that but I really thought it was interesting because this is an area of expertise I have, which could help foreigners, you know, that I really want to experience and meet one day. So if you are a foreigner, or even if, you know, you're from somewhere else in the United States, you know, you're in the East Coast or like the South, really want to check out these spots. Basically all of these are in like Southern California. You know, even Vegas, which is technically part of a state called Nevada, but like, let's just be honest, it's basically right next to California. So. If you ever want to check out these spots, you know, maybe this video will help you out. And, uh, you know, really enjoy making this. Really enjoy talking about it. And, you know, hopefully you guys, you know, check out these places soon if you want. Uh, definitely recommend going there at least once, you know, as I talked about. But, you know, that's it for me. It's your boy Janto here. And, you know, just want to say bless up on my waifus. Bless up on Riri. And, you know, peace out. Bless up. That's all I have to say. See you guys later. Peace.